Shockwave, do something about this! Alright, I'll go get scissors. Get the bug spray! How am I supposed to cut your hair with bug spray? I feel like we're not on the same page. It's a new age with Transformers. The War for Cybertron toy line continues with Kingdom having original Beast Wars characters returning to the spotlight. So with that, why don't we get into the groove with my first Beast Wars figure? I will admit I bought drill bits just to say I have at least one Beast Wars figure. Tumbling through the earth to pop up and strike when the Maximals least expect it, breaking through even their toughest armor. Seems hardcore, but his repaint drill nuts clearly has the better name. Drill bit transforms into this organic-like massive bull weevil. In reality, these things seem to enjoy eating cotton, so keep your genes away from this Predacon. I really dig the look, yet I find myself a bit confused by the configuration. There's a peg molded to the insect legs near the robot legs, so you'd think with the peg hole on the back of the robot legs, this is supposed to connect, but that looks goofy as hell. The insect limbs are stiff, but I guess you can align and shift them with the joints around it. The figure only uses two main colors, one of which is a transparent burnt orange. Oh cool! If you want something breakable, why don't we make the other half from melted G2 slingshots? Alright, I'll admit, it doesn't feel that brittle. There's a dusty painted effect over the shell, which looks like waffles soaked in syrup or a weed basket. You can adjust the front, making him the worst fork in the world, and there's painted eyes. Surprisingly, the pupils are painted over despite being closer to the color of the shell. Now for the fun part. You can flip over this mechanism underneath, revealing this drill weapon. It's hooked up to a gearing system and rubber tire, so if you get it right, you can roll it around and spin the drill. Maybe that's why the legs peg in, either to move it out of the way or it's some intimidation thing. Yeah, I can see this thing fighting for a mate on Animal Planet. While the robot limbs needed a place to stay securely, it doesn't ruin the toy until the drill gimmick becomes difficult to maneuver. Otherwise, this is a pretty solid insect, and pretty clean too. Robot mode. <laughs> This is certainly a Predacon, with colors I can only describe as a glowing transmetal Megatron. He's a solid entry at an age where Transformers discovered ball joints, although the color pattern does make him look like he's got purple overalls and an orange bib. Apparently, he was a famous peg warmer at his day. I mean, the figure is pretty basic for a basic class figure, and I guess the colors aren't the most pleasing. Plus, he's not a character seen in the show. So, who is Drillbit? No. What? is drill bit. I'll say this, his head's looking a little bit like Forager from DC. His eyes and teeth are painted over, but nothing else, making him a creepy goblin. Though, to his credit, I think that's more light piping than Siege ever got. Did someone say, ARTICULATION? Ball jointed head, ball joint shoulders, single ball joint elbow, ball joint hips, and ball joint knees. Despite all the ball joints galore, he does feel very restricted. The insect legs clash with the arms, and the feet are molded in a way so his static pose has a leg leaning forward. I guess it's more dynamic than some G1 stuff. Oh damn, did I just say G1 isn't perfect? I'm so sorry. This arm is normal, but this arm seems a bit off. Maybe it has something to do with the insect face and drill making for this very destructive clamping thing. I guess the hinge counts as an elbow, and the gearing system remains unchanged so you can continue to use it. He's a shell former! Literally he is. Please laugh! Just keep drilling, they said. Don't like the duck? Just keep drilling. Miss Sabertron? Just keep drilling. Drown out the sounds of war. Allies break the part at the seams. Fire blasts of chaos. For what reason? Just keep drilling. Sir, this is a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant. It seems basic isn't just a size, class, or price, considering that's essentially what he is, just basic. Not that there's an issue with that, and the gimmick is fun, better than some gimmicky toys we get now, but he's not likely going to be at the top of anyone's most wanted list. He can be a nice, destructive henchman, working on the side. He's there if you want him, but you're not missing out. I still like him, I don't have a problem with it. Even the transparent plastic. He's just a nice addition to the line. Seems the Predacons have good dental.